Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tech Ben. Welcome back to this dramatic reading of Order and Chaos by Tatsuro. Chapter 28 Deception. As Applejack stepped through the portal, she found herself in a strange hedge maze. While she'd seen her fair share of hedge mazes, even helped grow a few, what threw her off about this one was that she couldn't even see the sky, despite the hedge stopping a few feet above her head and having a roof. The set was rather unnerving. This place gives me the creeps, she muttered under her breath. Wish I knew what the hay was going on. Ask, and you shall receive, a soft boy voice spoke from nearby. Applejack let out a startled whinny as she leapt into the air. Whoa, Nelly! She cried out as she spun to, f to the source of the voice, spying only an unassuming stallion in a cloak. Who are you? As she landed, she shifted into a fine stance. I am here to act as your guide, the stallion replied. Your trial has begun, and I am here to aid you. Applejack snored worriedly, but settled. What trial? She demanded pugnaci pugnaciously. Bleh. You are sent to recover something? The stallion coached gently. Yeah, an artifact of some sort, Applejack responded. From some guy here who works for Discord. The one you seek is named Bothan. The stallion offered softly. Bothan has the artifact. Bothan has created this this trial for you. Follow me, and I sh will show you what I mean. Turning, the stallion made his way through the turns of the maze. Applejack wasn't sure if, if she could trust the stallion, but she followed anyway. What's your name, anyway? She demanded. I have had many, the stallion replied easily. You may call me what you will. Applejack grumbled under her breath not being put off like that. However, any attempts at further conversation were forgotten as they reached a wide open space of the maze, several identical figures wandering about. Each figure was tall and well-muscled, with the exact same face and eyes. However, each was garbed differently, dressed as everything from a noble to a beggar and everything in between, with a large prevalence of warriors. Why is this? Applejack demanded in confusion. We are both in supplicant, one of the figures greeted, one dressed as noble. You have come for our artifact, the figure offered a strangely configured shield. We are both in, mistress, one of the figures dressed as a servant offered meekly. Have you come for the, our artifact, if it pleases you? The figure offered a bow and arrow. The greetings went on, with each figure claiming to both in, and each offering a different artifact. Backing up, Applejack turned to Stan. I don't understand, she muttered worriedly, her eyes darting back and forth. What am I supposed to do? There is only one Bothan, the Stan explained. Find the true Bothan. Only the true Bothan has the true artifact you seek. All others are false, and will spell doom for yourself and your allies in Discord's game. You may use any means at your disposal to try the true Bothan, but you may only take one artifact from this realm. These are the rules, as laid down by Bothan. Applejack frowned. How do you know so much about this? She demanded coldly. The rules of the game require a fair chance, the standing responded. Bothan decided this was, was best handled by providing you with a guide to answer questions. Applejack frowns. So you'll answer any questions I pose to you. That is correct. Honestly? As honest as the child and the will of both in allows, the stallion clarified. Applejack rubbed her head in frustration. Just who the heck is Bothin guy if, if he pulls horse apples like this? Bothin is the Daedric Prince of Deceit, Conspiracy, Treachery, and Sedation, Stanning explained. Applejack sighed ruefully. Guess that makes sense, I think. Pulling her hat off, she wiped her brow and looked around at her surroundings. So, there are gonna be anybody but these both eye fellows around? She asked curiously. The stallion gave a barely perceived twitch. All you will meet here is Bothian, he responded. And where can I find the real him? Applejack asked, pouncing on what seemed to be the key. Wherever you go, you will find the true Bothan, the stallion answered. What's a danger, Prince? Applejack asked carefully. Whatever they wish to be, whenever they wish to be, the stan explained simply. They are as gods as you might perceive them. Can a Daedric Prince divide its power 
In the awareness? Applejack instantly followed up. The stallion hesitated. A wide grin split Applejack's face. I reckon I just solved a riddle, Bothan. You believe me to be the true Bothan? The stallion inquired carefully. Nope! Applejack quipped quickly. At least not entirely. Each of, the, each of these others refer to themselves as we. You refer to Bothan by name always, never calling them he, she, or in they. You always, you know I'm good at spotting lies, so you were careful to never tell one directly. And you've been giving yourself a way to explain if you had to. But you didn't answer when I asked about the vision. She gestured to the both and gathered around. This whole place is the beehive called Bothan. Each of them are the bees, parts of the whole. I need to speak to the whole, which means I need to find the queen bee to speak for the hive. The stallion was silent for a time. You have unraveled one layer of the trial, he admitted, but unless you find the core Bothan, the true Bothan will, never, will not return. But I already have, Applejack pointed out. It's you, the one who seems most normal to me, and thus the most out of place here. The only one that acts differently when you're already said I'll only meet both in here. So you gotta be part of both in, the part not acting like a puppet, which means you're the part pulling the strings. Power swirled through the area, sucking up everything to a central point. The other both ends were sucked into the stallion as he slowly rose up, becoming his full self. You are correct on all counts, he confirmed, clapping his hands slowly together. Discord said we should not underestimate any of you, but it seems we may all be all yet be guilty of that. I am both him. Reaching into his robes, he pulled out a glowing gold katana. And this is my artifact you seek, the gold brand. Whatever the outcome of Discord's game, it is yours now. As he released a blade, it flew over and strapped itself, sheath and all, to Applejack's back. Applejack t tipped her hat. Pleased to meet you, Bothin. Sorry about messing up your name earlier, but I had, but I weren't sure you were who you you were till I saw you twitch. <laughs> Bothin actually smiled. You have been an interesting opponent. Should we meet again, I won't go as easy on you. Looking forward to it, Applejack called out as the portal opened. Turning, she charged through it with a shout of, Yeehaw! I'm starting to see why I might want to put um, Dante's Little Apple Surprise a little later in the lineup. I, I love the, I love that particular set, because again, i played the games immensely. I think it's in a comment on one of the videos. And I'd love to do it, because again, the main characters, you've got Dante, Applejack, and that she doesn't even talk for like the first five chapters i mean it's, it would be fun but again the accent can be kind of a pain in the butt and the mannerisms it's something i'm not used to yet but who knows maybe i can pull it together and that's another one in the dirt folks who we um hopefully i can get this all together and get this ready to rock and roll but in the meantime folks my name is tech bandit Hope you guys have been enjoying this as much as I've been enjoying making it and hearing your feedback and hearing you guys enjoying my work. Until then, I wish you all good luck, good hunting, and safe travels. I'll see you in the next one, my benditos.